Hey guys, this is Sane here, and I'm here today to teach you how to be a better noob. Or more so, how to not be a noob at all. Now, um, we're obviously going to be talking about Operation Metro today, part of the Second Assault DLC that just came out for Battlefield 4. Um, my main issue today is you do not need to run around with fucking noob tubes everywhere to be good on this map. It is the most annoying fucking thing, and this is why so many Battlefield players hate this map, is because the grenade spam. And everybody knows grenades are way more spammed in this game than in Battlefield 3. Now, I'm also going to be talking about my own um, errors that I did, my own fuck-ups, if you will, in this game. What I should have done, what I shouldn't have done, that kind of shit as we go along. Now, I will say that I accidentally did not start recording at the beginning of this round. I believe when the when the game started or at the beginning of this video I was already 40 and 15 or 40 and 12. So it's uh, it's it's already pretty middle in the game, but I actually this was my first round with the F2000, which I'll do another vi video review on that. But okay guys, how to not be such a little bitch. Okay. I do not have a problem with grenades. My problem is when you have three fucking grenades that you can go with, the V80 minis, which give you three ga grenades, and then you would also decide to run around with a fucking noob tube. Why? <laughs> you are just being in my... You, you automatically go into the new book. Sans new book for me, anyway. I hate it. Now, the first thing that you should be thinking of when you're playing on this map is how you want your primary gun to be rolling. I would always choose a high RPM weapon. Like the F2000, um, before I actually unlocked the F2000, I was using the AEK on this map. Um, I would actually probably recommend over the F2000 the AEK, just because the AEK-1 has a faster fire rate. It has a fire rate of 900 rounds per minute, and um, it also has better accuracy over range. Um, I feel like the recoil on the AEK is much more manageable, at least for me. Um, this is one thing that's going to be very feel how you guys feel with the weapons. Uh, if you like the F2000 better, then do it to it, whatever. I did pretty damn good with the F2000 as well. But if you don't like having to manage that recoil, you can go with the shotgun. I don't think that you're a noob just because you run around with a shotgun. Yeah, it can one-shot people, but that's kind of the point of the gun, isn't it? Um, again, I would much rather be one-shotted by a shotgun running around a corner. Look at me. I tried to fucking... You need to learn that these elevators do not go back up instantly. I was hoping that I would run in there, be able to click the button, but it wasn't even letting me click it, and I get killed by level 1 noob. But... There's nothing you can do about that. At least he didn't fucking grenade me. So yeah, what I was saying. You don't want to use, um, or it's not bad to be using shotguns. I know everybody bitches about it. Everybody complains. Yeah, it's a shotgun. You're going to get killed by it. Probably in one shot. The, di the thing you should be doing is playing safe. That's going to roll into this section right here. I come up way too close to this front door right here. If there's a guy with a shotgun like that motherfucker, kills me instantly. You know why? Because I'm fucking point blank. If he had an assault rifle, I would have killed him. No doubt. I started firing on him first, and I had a fast firing uh, weapon. The, the F2000, I believe, fires at 880 RPM. Uh, you need to play around the shotguns. You need to be thinking, okay, obviously there's going to be people who are using these grenades, who are using these shotguns. How can I best avoid being one-shotted by them? See, on this time, I did. I came a little bit wider to the entrance. I still ran up, which is another reason why I die right here. I got the guy with that. I should have just came back immediately, started running backwards, and then thrown the grenade. I shouldn't have killed the guy who just got rest. Should have just came back, thrown the grenade in there, and then it would probably have killed both of them. Um, the guy with the shotgun would have at least taken damage. I was far enough away to where he wouldn't have one-shotted me. Now here's a little bit better example of what you should do. I check the door before I run up to it, and then I go as far away from it as I can to see if there's anyone in there. Of course this guy runs back in there, but guess what? I played it smart, so he got fucked in his bunghole. He got fucked in his prick hole. But see, now I'm just starting to see all these teammates following me over here, and I'm like, fuck that. 
I don't need to be by these teammates. Don't become a clusterfuck because that is when a grenade, one fucking noob tuber will just come around. And when I say grenades, I mean the noob tubes. If you just throw some grenades out, I don't have a problem with that. But one fucking new tube will just kill your whole goddamn team. Now here I keep coming back. I'm trying to play it safe right here. We have B and C caps right now. So as long as we keep those, we will win this game. As you can see, the tickets are very even right now. I'm not worried about Ramboing out front and trying to um, try to go cap A. Now I did res him right there to kind of be a dick just to see if um, there were still guys there. Another thing, you need to watch for those stairs. As I'm looking down, if you cannot peek that doorway if there are enemies on those stairs. Otherwise, they will kill you instantly. Now here, I tried to run out, and boom, the whole fucking enemy team is right there. Just to bring me to become another cold body on the Operation Metro floor. Here's another little area that will become a super big clusterfuck on Operation Metro. This is one of the little side areas. This was not in um, the Battlefield 3 version. This is a newly added thing. If you can hold this, as again, we have both B and C caps, so I'm not worried about rushing A. I'm worried about more keeping the flank off of my teammates. I can see all my teammates to my left on my mini-map, so I'm not worried about the doorway to right to my immediate left. Plus, you break line of sight. There's no way that someone's gonna shoot you from the stairs. See how close that is? I run out here. I'm hoping that this soldier will stay in there so I can see him if he dies. I run out here, check the stairs real quick, make sure that my team, because you can't always trust on your teammates, you know. There's shitty people, there's noobs, which is why I'm making this video. There's noobs out there who will not cover your back. I run in here, try to fix it again, make sure my teammate just willy-nilly ran up there. He should have been a little bit more cautious, but you know what? I'm hesitant to revive him, but I killed that guy. Luckily, there was nobody else there. I'm checking my teammate, obviously, you'll get to see this guy, he's Rambo, as I take a grenade to the face, talking about Rambo, that was pretty reckless, but he runs down there, boom, gets destroyed, playing safe, I was able to kill him, now I'm able to come down, I see that there's no more guys, res him, but this motherfucker, this is what you do not need to do, you have both flags, just protect them, he runs out, immediately fucking dies again, so, be smart, don't be an idiot, Cover your flags. If you have both B and C capped already, or B and A capped already, you just need to guard the flags because there's only three flags on Conquest on Operation Metro. Just cover your team's ass. Cover the flanks because people will not do that if you don't do it. Trust me, you'll be getting backflanked all the time as I'm taking nades to the face right here. He comes. 74, 27. See, I did not use a fucking noob tube this whole time. You do not need a noob tube to be good. All I was was using the AK and the F2000. Try to get some ammo for my friends that spawn on me. He takes a little bit, doesn't realize it, but he gets it. I'm pretty sure he has a Vault Hunter sign from Borderlands. I get my ammo, I say thank you, as I'm about to meet my death. Luckily, the game ended right there, but it was sure as fuck. I actually just typed in G because I tried to exit out because I saw those guys. But luckily, the game ended. I didn't die. But all right, guys. I hope this helps. Please remember that you don't need some fucking rocket launchers, some noob tubes, anything like that to be good on this map. Just play smart, play carefully, and you can be the best that you ever will. Alright guys, this is Saiyan, signing out for Saiyan and Raxon. Please leave a like and subscribe, it helps us out a lot. Also, go ahead and let us down, know down in the comments section if you enjoyed this video and you want me to make more, um, how to be a better noob, I suppose, is what I should say. How to not suck dick. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with, how to not suck dick. Alright guys, be sure to check us out in the next one, and I'll see you there.